The shoe last has a curve in the back of it, which matches the curve of your heel. And we would like the quarters of our shoe that we're making to follow that curve so it falls nice and neat and it's easy to last. So I've used this butt stitch to do that and I'll show you how that's done. The all I'm using is this little teeny inseaming all. I got this one from eBay. Carbone still makes them this small and you should be able to get them off of Lisa Sorrell's website. We need some little dinky harness needles. These little guys. Those are Osborne's 20 gauge. And I've got some Barber's three cord linen thread. Only about two feet of this. And we're gonna taper the ends and whack the thread. I'm gonna use the edge of this knife to feather this out. This is just beeswax. We want to use the smallest needle that we can thread. So we've tapered this ends here and waxed it up tight. So we can get it through that tiny little hole. So these holes I've pre-punched and then I've come back on this side and I'll punch them one at a time. You could count these all out, measure them out, and pre-punch all of these, but it's just easier, I think, to make them individually as you go, and you can alter if one side gets a little short or long, you can make that, you can fix that. That's the hole I pre-punched. Across the other side. I'm going to finish it with a batch, a back stitch. Our, so here's our finished stitch. You can't see it on the inside. 